guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Mariama. Today is Friday and normally I do my grocery pickups on Saturday, but I'm off today. This is my second day in a row that I have off and I'm so thankful. I actually just finished um, coming off a four mile hike with my husband, but I figured since I have the day off, why don't I go ahead and get my groceries a day earlier, save me more time tomorrow. And then while I'm doing that, I can show you guys how I plan and prep my meals, my snacks, and overall my healthy grocery haul for the week. I've had a few people on Instagram um, send me messages and then also comment on some of my uh, previous videos asking me how I come up with meal plans, snack ideas. So I figured I would go ahead and do a video and show you guys. So I typically shop at Aldi. Aldi has great prices compared to all the other grocery stores that I have shopped at. They have quality foods and they have enough selections for me at least. So I keep going there week after week, but if I can't find something there, then I end up going to a different store to supplement. So what I wanted to show you guys is typically Aldi has their weekly circular come out on Wednesdays. This is what it looks like. So what I typically do is I look through the grocery circular to see what new things they have or what I might be interested in. And if it's on sale, what I can do to try and incorporate it into my meal plan or some of my snacks that I want to do throughout the week. While I'm doing that, I find some snacks or some meals. Sometimes um, in the circular, they do suggested meal recipes and sometimes I find those interesting and I will use them and sometimes I don't and I'll just use their sale items to make my own meals. Typically, my favorite fruits that I like to have are apples, oranges or clementine, berries or so blueberries, blackberries or strawberries. So depending on what they have on sale, I will load up on that for the week. And then after I am done making my um, snacks for the week, then I start moving on to my meals. I am a very, very visual person, so my husband does not like this part because most of my meals that I get are on Pinterest or on my Pinterest board. So I have everything labeled as Good Eats. So Good Eats pasta, Good Eats chicken, Good Eats beef, uh, slow cooker, you name it. So I put all my meals in there so that way when I'm ready to go and pick something, I know what category to go into and it makes it a whole lot easier to try and choose what I'm looking for depending on what I'm craving. So while I'm doing this, I have two little children. I have a three-year-old son and then I have a almost six-year-old daughter. And for the most part, they're not picky eaters, but I do try and keep in mind because there are some things that they don't like eating or their taste buds are not there yet. So for instance, they don't like feta cheese, they're not into seafood yet, but they like things like chicken curry. So it all depends. So when I'm making those meals, I do keep in mind the things that they like versus the things that my husband and I like. And if I have to, sometimes we'll do something for my husband and myself and then we'll have alternatives for them. So I will look through the circular, do all of that, make my grocery list. Usually I put it on my phone. I can show you guys what that looks like in the notes section. I do that and then I go to the grocery store. So it's about 1.30 now, so I have a curbside pickup waiting for me. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up and then when I come back, I'll show you guys the grocery haul. So here are all the groceries. I got about 98% of them from Aldi and then about 2% of the stuff from ShopRite. So this is the entire family's groceries. And for the sake of time, I'm just gonna go ahead and go through mine and show that to you. All right, so I'm back from the grocery store and I figured I would go through the meals with you guys. Typically when I make my meals for the whole entire week, I try and only cook three times a week because it's busy working a full-time job and having kids as well. So I cook three times a week and then I try and have leftovers for the other days. This week is an exception, so um, tomorrow, Saturday, I am gonna go with my family to a Cinco de Mayo party, so I'm not having to cook, which is great. On Sunday for Mother's Day, we are having a uh, Thai chicken curry, I think is what it is. We've had this before, and my family absolutely loves this recipe. So we'll have that on Sunday. We'll have that also on Monday for leftovers. And on Tuesday, a few weeks back ago, Aldi had a sale on lamb, and I went crazy because they were vacuum sealed. So I bought a ton of that, so that's sitting in the freezer. We're gonna have that with some Indian spices a friend of mine gave to me, some naan, and then also some roasted zucchini with some Parmesan cheese. So we'll have that on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I also already have this. So most of the meats and stuff I already bought or we have leftovers for. So on Wednesday, we're gonna have Aldi's Kirkwood breaded chicken breast 
breast, we're gonna have that as sandwiches. And depending on how my macros look, I may have that with the um, hamburger bread, or I might just have it with the iceberg lettuce as a um, cover for the bread. And on Thursday, we're gonna try this tomato and feta pasta. I don't think my kids are gonna like it too much because of the feta, so I do have chicken nuggets as a backup for them, so we'll see. And then Friday is gonna be pizza as usual. I bought one thing of pizza for them, and then I'm gonna try a two ingredient pizza for myself, um, just because it's lower on the carbs and the calories. Here we have romaine lettuce, zucchini, bell peppers, cherry tomatoes, raspberries, an English cucumber, blueberries, strawberries, baby carrots, feta cheese, cauliflower dip, total 0% fire yogurt, coconut whipped topping, 90 second cauliflower rice, pepperoni for making pizza, protein penne pasta, some protein oats and honey granola, miniature naan, black bean chips, plantain chips, coffee, medium roast, pizza sauce, turmeric shot, a Yasso fudge brownie bar, Ole body wash, a Mediterranean sea candle, which smells so good, and hand lotion and soap. So that is pretty much everything for my grocery haul. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away before it starts to thaw and let's get to prepping and cooking. So when I'm getting ready to prep my vegetables, the first thing that I do is get a strainer out and dump all of my vegetables into there and just wash away all the dirt or anything grimy that's on there. And then next I move on to the counter and cut off any of the stems and stuff that I don't need. That just makes it a whole lot easier to just grab my vegetables or my fruit and just eat them as quickly as possible if I'm in a hurry for myself or for the kids. All right, next, I'm gonna go ahead and put these into a large container. You can use glass or Tupperware, whatever you feel like it. But I go ahead and pack these in, and I just grab and go, put them into another small plastic bag or into my um, meal prep containers. Yeah, this is basically what I do to get my veggies ready for the week. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready now to make the meal prep and this really is not a recipe that I found to go step by step. This is just something that I made up for myself on the fly when I was really hungry last week. So um, this is going to be a chicken teriyaki. I went ahead and chopped up, this is about like two and a half pounds of chicken breast. You're also going to need about three bell peppers, half a red onion or yellow onion if you have it, extra virgin olive oil, garlic or minced garlic. This is just a little bit left but You'll need some pepper, some salt, and then I got this at Aldi, and I absolutely love this sauce. I'm sure you can find it anywhere, but this is the teriyaki Asian sauce. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cook my chicken, and then when that is maybe like halfway done, I'm gonna go ahead and add my vegetables, and then the sauce, and then just let everything cook down. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and get my meal prep containers ready. I went ahead and microwaved the uh, cauliflower rice, and I just went ahead and did uh, two of these because, you know, it takes 90 seconds, so I can do those day by day. Um, I went ahead and fit all the containers with the chicken um, stir fry mix that I have, and then I only did two days worth of the vegetables because those are already um, prepared. I can just grab those as I need them. that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you all and as you guys saw I had five containers and my plan is to use this as a meal prep for 
my lunches. I really don't meal prep my dinners usually, unless I'm in a bind. But I only did two of the containers because the cauliflower rice is literally 90 seconds. So my plan is just to do that day by day or every two days. And then the vegetables, since those are already prepped, they're already washed, all I have to do is pull those out and put those in the containers as well. Which um, I don't know if you guys noticed. So the cauliflower rice, that's actually my first time trying this. I gave it a little try and now it's actually really good. I had no idea they made 90 second cauliflower rice. I've seen the um, basmati rice, the jasmine rice before. So so this is a first, I like it, and I think I'm gonna keep purchasing it as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.